And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Elimination Chamber gauntlet match has begun. Kofi Kingston already wrestled The Miz tonight to get his place in the chamber. Now taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles. Kofi reverses, going for an SOS. Connects with the SOS. But he can't get onto the cover. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, this means the winner of the gauntlet match, they have to survive the whole gauntlet, but whoever wins enters the chamber last, giving them the distinct advantage in the chamber match. Now, Kofi Kingston, springboard, trust fall to ringside landing on AJ Styles. Now, almost just standing there as he does, not getting it, but Xavier Woods playing the, uh, playing the trombone on the announce table. New Day Rocks. No, they rocks. No, almost. What are you doing, man? Almost has got Xavier Woods by the throat and just choke slamming him. Oh no, he's holding him there like Big Show used to do. Almost just holding Xavier Woods. Jesus, put him down, man. Woods isn't in this match. Neither are you. Get out of it. No. Woods just got choke slammed into the Thunderdome audience. Kofi Kingston trying to square up to almost. Not gonna work. Kofi not backing down though. Never want to back down from a fight as our Kofi Kingston. But no, referee telling almost to go away and telling Kofi to get back in the ring. All this time, AJ Styles having to recover. Kofi checking on Xavier. AJ now arguing with the referee saying, why? It's not like almost attacked Kofi. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why he's being sent backstage. But Kofi and AJ back in the ring going at it once again now, guys. Big drop kick. No. Styles catches him. Oh, and a foot DDT. Attacking the injured lower leg of Kofi Kingston even further. This may not be a good thing for Sunday. If Kofi's injured now, how's he going to hold up in the Elimination Chamber match itself? And now AJ Styles going to the apron. He's got Kofi laid out exactly where he wants him. I think we know what's coming. Styles lifting the elbow pad. Are we going to see it? AJ Styles jumping on the springboard. And here it is. Phenomenal forearm to Kofi Kingston. One, two, three. AJ Styles advances. Kofi is out. And here we go, Drew McIntyre, the next entrant. Drew McIntyre, the WWE champion, taking on AJ Styles, going for a Claymore drop kick reversal by Styles. These two have history. These two met up at TLC last year, the last pay per view of 2020. Drew McIntyre defended the championship against AJ Styles in the TLC match. Drop kick by AJ to the outside. Drew McIntyre, not in a good way. But obviously he is still fresh. AJ Styles isn't fresh anymore. He's just had that match with Kofi. Four on to the outside. I don't know if he connected with the forearm. It looked more like a push. But both men down on the ringside area. Both men getting back in the ring now. And oh, a Pele kick by AJ Styles to Drew McIntyre. Making the cover not fast enough. And Drew kicks out. I always love these gauntlet matches, guys. Every year I look forward to it. Before Elimination Chamber, we get the gauntlet match. Elimination Chamber last year, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It sucked. I didn't even watch it. They didn't even have a World Championship-related uh, Elimination Chamber match. I didn't care for it last year. So 2019 is the most recent Chamber that I actually remember. And uh, obviously 2018, before that, we had Rollins go the distance in the gauntlet match. The gauntlet match is always great fun. And now it looks like AJ Styles is going to put Drew McIntyre away with the Styles Clash. Oh no, and a back body drop by Drew countering the move. Beautiful, WWE Champion once again trying to gain control here over the phenomenal AJ Styles. Both of these men former two-time WWE Champions. And oh, McIntyre with a big chop to the chest of AJ. What's he thinking here? Irish whip going for a tilter world DDT. Styles, no, counters it. And now with a... I thought he was going for a DDT. Apparently not. He's got the calf crusher locked in. Calf crusher to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre doing his best to reverse it, but it's locked in. McIntyre is locked in in the calf crusher. Will he tap out? McIntyre, this may be about preservation here. If you tap out to this move, you may enter the chamber earlier, but you will be preserved for the elimination chamber. But no, grabbing a handful of hair and just headbutting Styles. Beautiful counter. Here we go. Both men still down. The Thunderdome are going wild. 
What a match these two have delivered so far. Styles going for a phenomenal forearm. Going for it. No. Rolls through. McIntyre. Big counter. Bounce. Oh my gosh. Just ricocheting. No pun intended. Styles into the ropes. Claymore. Claymore by McIntyre. Two, three. There we go. That that whiplash looked brutal, kind of like what Enzo went through all them years ago. But McIntyre advances, and it's Hardy coming out. Let's go. Drew McIntyre versus Jeff Hardy. Here we go. Now Hardy with a big shot to the head. Jeff Hardy participated in the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber two years ago and lost... Uh, but no, here we go. Now trying to gain the advantage. I believe Jeff was actually the last entrant in the 2019 chamber. Not that it did him any advantage there. But Jeff Hardy trying to gain advantage over Drew McIntyre. These two chain wrestling a little bit. Throwing Hardy into the corner. Back elbow strike. Hardy maybe looking for a whisper in the wind. He does. No. Oh no, it connected. I think Drew went to move, but it caught him too. Kick out by Drew. That was brutal. The back of Hardy's leg, his calf and foot area crashing down on the side of Drew McIntyre's head. The champion may be rocked right now. Hardy take advantage. But no. Drew McIntyre once again on the offense. Both men moving to the outside area here. Now no. McIntyre looking for a suplex on the outside. On the concrete. Ow. Jeff Hardy just got suplexed on the concrete by Drew McIntyre. Throwing him back in the ring. Cover him. I don't know if there's been enough time. Kick out by Jeff. Come on, Drew. You know you're going to have to do more than that to put Jeff away. He's taken nastier falls than that throughout his career and still lived to tell the tale. That was a nasty suplex, though. But no, Drew may be looking for another one, but this time from the top, Superplex. Is he going to hit it? Superplex to Jeff Hardy. That may be it. One, two, Jeff kicks out. Somehow, some way. But no. Claymore, no. Jeff Hardy moves out of the way. Fantastic reversal timing. Twist of fate. Twist of fate to Drew McIntyre. Jeff taking the vest off. This can only mean one thing. Guys, it's time for a swan ton bomb. Jeff Hardy going up to the top rope. Come on. There it is. Swan ton. No. Drew got the knees up. Jeff Hardy landing straight on the knees of the WWE champion. McIntyre looking to take advantage. Come on, Jeff. Three, two... One, Drew McIntyre going to hit it. Claymore kick. Jeff didn't even attempt to get his hands up straight to the face. One, two, three. McIntyre advances yet again. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre brawling on the outside. Irish whip, Orton into the barricade. I don't know if that was his side or his thigh. I'm not sure what that was. Hang on. Hang on a minute. The lights are going down. It's Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss. Appearing throughout the Thunderdome. On every single screen, Alexa Bliss is appearing. Including the ceiling. Oh, wow. The whole Thunderdome is covered in bliss. I guess this really is a moment of bliss. But Randy Orton distracted the referee at a count of nine. Ten, that's it. Randy Orton's been counted out. Drew McIntyre advances. That means there's only one person left. And that is Sheamus. But Drew McIntyre is in the final. Randy Orton trying to get back in the ring. I don't think he realises the count's already been broken. McIntyre claymores him anyway. But Randy, you are out of here. And the lights have gone down yet again. Drew looking at the entrance stage. It is time for the Celtic warrior. Sheamus making his way down to the ring. It's Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in what I personally believe will be one of the main events of WrestleMania. And now Sheamus appearing from behind Drew McIntyre. Gaining the distraction advantage. Sheamus just going straight on the offense. Throwing Drew into the barricade. The Great White throwing him once again into the barricade and Drew goes over. Not in the match, he goes over the barricade. 
And these two brawling in the Thunderdome. McIntyre holding onto the screen for leverage, but it's not doing anything. Mac uh, Drew just got thrown straight back into the ringside area. Sheamus, get him in the ring. Oh, and straight into the ring post goes Drew. Come on. Drew calling for the Claymore. Claymore kick. No, moves out of the way. Sheamus. Bro kick. Cover. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Sheamus is entering last. But, guys, that's not what's shocking here. Sheamus is the second man to pin Drew clean since 2020. Since the beginning of 2020. The first being Orton. Sheamus is entering the chamber last. This gives him a distinct advantage. Will Sheamus win the WWE Championship at Elimination Chamber? I will see you guys on Sunday.